Good evening, everybody. Welcome out here to Squad Ops. If you don't know what Squad Ops is, we are a community that runs One Life Operations in the Game Squad. You can find out all the information about us over there on squadops.gg. Also, you can tune in tonight, obviously, on twitch.tv slash squadops and youtube.com slash squadops to see all of our content. We thank you guys for coming out. Tonight, we're going to be running Operation Rawhide. And yeah. I'm going to be one of your commentators tonight, CMYK Matter. Also here joining me is my Tedish. boy Tedish. What's up, Tedish? Tedish. Uh, not much. Excited for round three and four, respectively, for the day on Rawhide. Some great action this oh, morning. Man. I feel like every time we say the name of this op, there just needs to be like a <laughs> whoosh afterwards every single time. That'd be great. Yeah. Oh, man. I, a, I feel like horse. we need it. The horse. Let's queen. get that. Let's get the soundboard going. Pen. Yeah, Pen. Uh, Pen, Pen is our guy soundboard. behind the scenes. If you don't know, uh, we're we're gonna make him get a soundboard going, and uh, yeah, we need it'll a be wah, good... wah, wah, and like some explosions <laughs> and like, yeah, that'd be great. Uh, Burnsy Bro is asking how long do these ops usually run? Well, they run anywhere from like two to four hours, depending on how long each round takes. Some of the time we get some real long rounds, but. I Typically, it's round. Typically, cut it around two hours. Like, try yeah, to run things yeah, we try quick, quicker. Yeah, yeah, we try to keep things moving. We try to keep things going reasonably quickly. But... A lot of it's up to the uh, the commanders and how they um, run things. The first round uh, this morning took quite a while, um, and the second round was fast action right off the bat. So you never know how it's going to run. Yeah, yeah. It was fun though. It was a good time. I I had a great time. I was commanding earlier. It was a good time. Google, don't be mean. Johnny's a friend. He's a good guy. <laughs> but but if you don't know what Operation Rawhide is, we're going to actually get that up oh, for yeah. you here and we'll tell you. Yeah, we should we should talk about it. So what we got here is Operation Rawhide. It is a show-off between the U.S. and the INS. The U.S. gets two ARs, one GL, one LAT, and one Medic per squad. They also get two MRAPs and one trans, or two trans trucks. They also get the ability to pick up another MRAP and a trans truck in a location. Then they get the choice between a infantry or a mechanized, which we'll talk about those in a bit. The INS gets two ARs, one Raider, two LATs, one Medic, two hats, two scouts, and all the vehicles on the freaking map. So, the general choice here is that, or the general point of this is that the U.S. has to remove a radio jammer that has been placed in the village south of the airfield, and they have the choice between an infantry and mechanized unit in order to get that job done. So, for the U.S., they have to maneuver in, take that thing out. For the INS, they get one cell that starts at village, and everybody else is going to start at main, and then have to move there and try to help with that defense. And they get so, uh, all the techies that live there. So Yeah, yeah. every single tech. And they can scrap anything they find, which I think comes out to five, four or five Dishka techies, two Lodgies, um, and two uh, SPG techies. There's a, there's a lot of trucks. They can. There's a Rocket already as well, and another Lodgy out there. There's all and kinds both, of stuff. Both teams can build a FOB and get, get mortars up. Uh, reinforcements are somewhat limited because it's so far from everybody's main base. Um, but yeah. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of lot of it's for such a simple basic op to attack and defend. Uh, it can run quite a few different ways. This morning we saw we saw a uh, a nice ambush. Uh, the U.S. took their convoy out the into the main town to the east of the objective. They were going to go down there and set up a uh, mortar base. And they got ambushed on their way in, uh, took mass casualties. Both teams actually took a lot of casualties in that fight, but uh, yep. worked out okay. And the second round, both teams just went straight in for village with all of it, like everything. <laughs> everything was just straight in, and it was intense right off the bat. So, yeah, you can see a bunch of the different very... ways for how simple it is, yeah. The, the variations are really cool. Actually, we should take a moment to talk about that. This is the first operation that we have in live... Uh, running that you get the choice between an infantry and mechanized platoon. And what that means is that the U S can either choose between infantry where they get four GLs four additional GLs. They also get a forward observer. Then they get two lodgies and the ability to set up a fob and mortars, or they can choose a mechanized platoon where they forego the GLs and 
the mortars and all that stuff, and they get to pick up two strikers instead. Instead, so pretty interesting. Those strikers are we'll huge on this map because they're so the open. Way off to the west and those optics, the sorry, are like they can cross the really at range, the range which no one else has optics. So yes, they can. Yeah, use those Indeed. well. Um, so we really yeah, have to uh, uh, These guys are, right are building up defenses before uh, before launch, which is legit on this one. They got one. Yeah, this was one, one of the few that we allowed. Yeah. Well, I think it's going to change a little bit based on uh, what how they distribute the resource points and how there's no longer a, a live tick. So it doesn't matter so much if they start things beforehand. But. Yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of different options for this. It's so, uh, going to be really cool to see. The U.S. can attack from the north. They can try to move slowly through the east. They can come in from the south. Um, then the options between the infantry and if you want to actually do mortars or if you just want to get that great cover that you can get with the strikers, all kinds of options. And then you got mines You're right, and IVs and potential V-bids. And yeah, a lot, of, a lot of different ways this can go. You were talking about the um, the strikers earlier and how big they can be. You know, in the round earlier today where there was a mechanized team that was taken, uh, the striker actually got blown up. One of the strikers got yeah. blown up real early by one of those that hats. Was surprising. So. He got hit by a hat from pretty decent range out. I was surprised that. Yeah. Hit. It was probably, I don't know, 100, 100 feet, 200 feet? Which yeah, was a hat. It was a pretty if, long if one. Was, if you use the hats, those things drop like a like a rock you gotta you gotta arc that thing up and eyeball on it and just like hip firing that thing is uh is tough but it really yeah, is it connor shelby saying hi hi to you man good to see you out here we appreciate you following along being a part of squad ops this evening and hi to everybody just want to say hey it's feeling good man all feeling those viewers tonight. out there yeah taking their saturday evening come watch some squad ops participate right right Got a lot of guys in here tonight. We got a full server going, actually, yeah, so like... it's always fun. I really enjoy the, really enjoy when we get these full operations. You know, right. nine times out of ten we do get them completely full, or at least only missing like one or two slots. But it's always good to see these things take shape. Let's see. It looks like uh, the surgeons are ready to go. What's the, uh, name of this U.S. Weekend? is about to start their brief, so we'll probably get right. into the action here in maybe five minutes, depending on how many jokes are flying around the now. U.S. brief over there. <laughs> Always. You think? Looks well, like we just, are sorry, actually busy. getting the U.S. brief, so maybe we can listen in on that. Everyone, welcome to Operation Rawhide. This is round one. And uh, our objective, as you guys know, is to go and eliminate that jammer fob that the filthy insurgents have put inside village. And the way that we're going to accomplish this task is we're all starting at main. Uh, squad 4 and 3 are loading up inside the trans truck. Squad 1 is loading up inside both lodges. Or squad 2 is loading outside both lodges. And squad 1, Shadow Squad, is taking both MRAPs. From there, uh, the whole platoon, except for Shadow Squad, is going to stage in Alpha 5, Keypad 5, Sub Keypad 5. While we're staging there, setting up our mortar fob, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, Shadow is going to the VCB and grabbing the uh, final uh, MRAP. From there, he's going to drive back and regroup with us on the FOB location. While uh, Pony Squad is setting up the FOB and getting the Lodges running, we're going to create a platoon line with Squad 4 and 3. If my thing would work. There. Yeah, so squad two, uh, three and four are going to be in a platoon line like this. Uh, once we're all set and Shadow Squad is regrouped with us, we're going to walk the two squads in while mortars start bombarding village and the mechanized squad firing over top of our heads. We're going to move in, and when we get close to village, uh, the, the mechanized squad is going to get up on the hills just, uh, just near the land bridges. And they're going to provide cover while mortars are hitting village. From this point, uh, Squad 4 is going to take the bridge uh, on the FOB mark, and Squad 3 is going to take the other land bridge on the enemy FOB mark. From there, the mortars are going to stop, we're going to push in, we're going to eliminate all the forces, 
We're gonna have to go building to building to make sure we clear them all out. Remember guys, when clearing buildings, speed and aggression. If one guy goes hard, everyone has to go in hard with him. Uh, save your frags for the bling. And uh, let's make a queen sweep. Guys, does anyone have any questions? Uh, so I do, real quick. Squads yep. get uh, two grenadiers since we're doing infantry, right? That's correct. Your squad leads have, uh, should have already assigned kits. God damn it, Louis. All right. Anyone else have any other questions? Uh, not a question, but one thing to mention. All right. So it looks like. Oh, we didn't really go over commands and squad leads, so let's take a moment to do that before we, we talk about sure. uh, what's going on. Man, I, I forgot awesome, about man. that big... Forgot about that big time. So uh, on the U.S. side, we've got LaRue in command, uh, and his faithful squad leads are Shadowed Ritual, Best Pony, Burns, and Digit. What do you got on the other side on the INS for it? On uh, INS, we've got squad leading is Creeping, Demine, Silas, Server Burns. Error, and the Village Elder in this case is Xbit. <laughs> Great squad, dude. Great oh, squad name. That is a really good uh, squad name. All so right, it looks, looks like, like US, US called ready. Yeah, so we'll be getting we'll be get going here shortly. I'm excited. I'm excited to see how this goes. You know, I was on the ground earlier, so I want to see what it looks like from above. Yeah. I'm going to see if I can uh, get some eyes on... Drunk ops at the oh, are those? All those uh, mortars? It looks like the U.S. might be putting a mortar base in the northwest. Out in the middle yeah. of nowhere. That'll be great. All right, let's get these yeah, it looks like the U.S. is going to put a mortar base out from the northwest of village. We just got a call of a live time at 134. That is in 60 seconds. So we're getting close. Things. Look at those techies lined up. So they got the uh, one SPG techie. They do have the rocket artillery and then four. Well, I mean, they're taking all the techies out. <laughs> but they are definitely using the rocket already. So we'll see if they pick up the other SPG, which my favorite. Love SPG on this on this map. You can use such a har force for harassing hit and run. It'll be interesting to see if they try to wolf pack, you know. You can wolf pack with these these technicals, the so if you do, you do it, yeah, you have versus versus strikers versus right. yeah, so they just don't survive one or two, you know. You get both SPGs to pop over the same time and, and fire off both their rounds and then retreat. That's hard to that's hard to fight against. Right. So I'm looking at this here, and it looks like they've got their MRAPs situated. They're getting the convoy lined up. There's two MRAPs. And we're live. Two Logies, and there's the live. So looks like they're sending the MRAPs to the north to uh, scrounge, potentially. Very good. Drop the back to the single by striker. <laughs> oh, dude, we'll try sending the gunners. I'm scared shit. Listen, three, three, four, five vehicles heading to the west. Get it in there to reinforce. What are the U.S. doing? The U.S. have their two MRAPs. They are chasing out to the VCP, it looks like, and it looks like they're going to try to get that other MRAP that's there. Uh, the rest of them, the two Logies and the two Trans, way off in the distance in the back of my camera here, uh, in the middle of the sun, the beaming sun, they're going to be setting up that mortar cop location, so we'll see what they do with that. After we drop off... I'm excited. Oh, making a run back. Oh yeah, it's already making a run. Yep. I guess they started out there, so yeah, they'd be on their way back. Yeah, that makes sense. I mean, the do the lodges do get to start there, so it looks like the U.S. have now successfully picked up the third MRAP with no contact from INS. The INS crew that we're going to scrounge at Mosque doesn't yep. look like they were able to like you know, get up here and kind of pick off anybody or anything like that. I don't that. think they were going for that. They were just going to pick up all the vehicles. And according to my map, they picked up another SPG 
and another rocket already, and then I think just another normal dish gun. So three more vehicles. Right. They're gonna have a fleet. This is the last we'll see of us. It was nice right. playing with you. We'll see how that goes. I'm excited to see how this whole idea of doing it as a giant kind of fleet assault is going to do with those uh, with those vehicles because they're so squishy, you know. And when you got three MRAPs cruising around, those MRAPs can do a pretty easy job of hitting those things and kind of blowing them up quite quickly. The MRAPs are a reasonably strong little vehicle. I oh, like them absolutely. anyway. Absolutely. Um, I think. It'd be wise if the insurgents use all of their Dishka techies as hardened up in place once more or less. Get them into the town, move them around, um, and don't try to wolf pack because on this map, there's so much open ground that they're going to see you coming from a mile away, and then they're just going to stop and shoot you as you're driving, and then you're done. <laughs> but if you can put them, yep. if you can put them around in the city and use them as just you know Dishka placements. Uh, be in the rear vehicle. That's yep. Then you can do some real damage. So we'll see what they do. Looks this like the MRAPs bouncing off the map barrier out here. <laughs> oh, that was interesting to see. It's a completely different way of running it from the morning rounds. Looks like we got this fire base that the U.S. is setting up in the northwest. Yep. And then all of the insurgents are hard pointing up. Tell them to stop moving the vehicles around, we can hear jack shit. Yeah, looks like we got Evan running Lodgy. Um, yeah, let's see Let's see what the insurgents are going to build here as far as emplacements. Get a mortar the US up, get is actually, fire. Yeah, the U.S. is actually running their Lodgy as well. It looks like they're going to try to get some additional emplacements or perhaps some additional uh, ammo for those mortars. And looks we'll see like we what they do. Tune line coming down here. Yeah, they've got a big, beautiful kind of line set up here, spread out nice and wide as they push south. You know, the they're about to come into view of the village, and if they have any techies or any HMGs or things like that on the northwest side of the village, they would be able to see them here soon. I've got a lookout or two. Who is this? Yep, they're calling this guy out, but he's not a squad lead. Doubt he's going to see him. Who is this? Revort. Let's get engines off while we wait for this mortar to get up. So the call was just made by LaRue to cut engines, get hardened up, kind of haul down, and wait for those mortars to get set up uh, to make their push. So as you can see here, these guys have spread out into this line here, and they are just kind of waiting until like, the like mortar the cop goes. Attacking with the sun at your back. Yes. Tactically, very smart decision. It actually makes a difference in the game, too. It really does. On this map, trying to look to the northwest, anytime you do it, it just it just hurts the eyes, you know? <laughs> yeah, Reckle, the U.S. do have to go over a lot of flat ground, but if you look at the perspective, they can get pretty close before they're actually in danger. They do have a decent amount of, uh, you know, vegetation in the way up close. And uh, got these swamps off to the west. Right, but, by, uh, yeah, it is a lot of ground to cover, that's for sure. All right, it looks like they do have the mortar tubes up. They're building some HNGs for defenses. They have also built a HAB out here to act as kind of an indirect fire shelter. I guess that's what they've decided to do with that, so that's not a bad idea. If they've got yeah. uh, lodges running, they might as well build a few. So he, Best Pony is here, one of the squad leads, and he is just calling out bearings and distance, and there the first mortar goes out. Let's see where that lands. Try to follow it over here, see if they manage to get it in the village. Another mortar goes out as well. Let's see where that... Calling out fire missions, yep. See where these land. Right. I got a nice satellite view here. Everyone's hard to And those are going to be short. Every... Yeah, those are... Where was it? It was on the northwest side. It was across oh, yeah. the river. They did not manage to get it across the river. Stand by the fire. Well, you got to range them in somehow. Yeah. I feel like you should walk in uh, shots one at a time, not three at a time, but maybe that's me. <laughs> I 
Like, I mean, they're close enough right. to their main base that the body run should be plentiful. That's true. That's true. And it looks yeah, like if you uh, look, that Mordekov is close. The insurgents aren't going to be running a wolf pack, at least not at this point, to try to intercept that. That logic. Another set of mortars go out. He's on top of the building, Bordnos. Yeah, he very Still short. His mortars still splashing short, yeah. I don't think they had a good eye on where they were splashing. Yeah, it corrected the angle, just... but not the distance. There we go, we got a. Dishko. Oh, shots coming in. Finding some infantry out here. It pushed across the west bridge and then pushed south on that land bridge. Very He's interesting. Isolated. He's very isolated. There's no escape. <laughs> yeah, there's no way to get off there. I don't. I don't think. I That's interesting. See him, dude. I could barely see him. He was just running. Well, the skyline at so here are the shots come in, and we are starting. Oh. Boom! M rap engaging back on it. Boom! <laughs> Two M raps were engaging, yeah, and he was done. And now There's not much to be done about Saloon out here all by himself. We'll see how long he survives. Oh, there goes the counter battery. And it is long. It, they don't manage to hit the mortar. Impressively firing into the sunset. Yeah, yeah. it feels good, you know, it feels, it feels pretty. And those mortars still landing short, oh. from what I can tell. Another Dishkateki goes down. Oh man, they are popping those Dishkatekis left and right. Thankfully, you get a lot of them, but that's that's rough losing them this early. Yeah, you got to get those things in a hold down position. Here we go, Dishko opening up on. Uh... Not sure what he can see there. I don't. I don't really know what he can see. <laughs> I don't think he can see. He can't quite see the MRAP. He sees all the infantry over there. Another rocket battery comes in close to the MRAP. Doesn't manage to hit it at all, but it was close. Oh, more of them just coming in, dumping, dumping around the MRAP. Doesn't manage to hit anything or anybody, but. Infantry Definitely scaring that out. Coming up close in the swamp on the west side. Looks like they're angling to cross the bridge down here. Oh, and there's a land bridge too. Right, throwing smoke yeah, there's a, right there's, a, there's a fjord. A fjord, as they said in the in the document. <laughs> What's an f -jord? Right? <laughs> what is an F Jord? It is, that is a fjord, ladies and gentlemen, if you don't know that word. Scandinavian. Little land. Alright, smoking that thing up. I think they, they made the call to send one person across first to make sure there's no IED. Alright, this goes. That's smart. Now the mortars are hitting on point, right in the middle of village. One of them just yeah, splashed. Just Oh, so much for one person. The whole squad's going across right now. Here they come. That western assault is on. And it looks like the north is about to start moving as well. Yeah, that was a nice crossing. Made it across. Pretty much no uh, no resistance. I feel like the pressure from those MRAPs really did it for them there. That grenade did a great job. Yeah. There's a lot of pressure from the MRAP. That beautiful line coming out and all the MRAPs just firing at different. It was, uh, it worked great. On the north here, the MRAP pulls up close and it is now just unloading on these buildings, doing a lot of damage, ripping apart a dish gut. RPGs coming dish out, firing across the river. Action all over the place. They have dish gut emplacement, firing on a building. He can't really see the MRAP. And the U.S. has a foothold now. The U.S. have gained oh, yeah. a foothold on the western side of that village. And that's one of the biggest hurdles that you need to get over is getting that foothold. Uh, oh, someone tried to run across the river where they couldn't run across the river. Yeah, yeah, that's unfortunate for them. But, I think, uh... I think that's what just happened. That's unfortunate. You walk out in that river, you die. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this water hurts on this map. Three is crossed. And there it looks like another another sheep to the 
Yep, he's getting ready to go in. Oh, he made it back. U.S. are penetrating on the uh, southwest. Yep, they're starting to maneuver on the northwest. Oh, a lat comes in and it does hit the front of the MRAP. Kills somebody in the process, too. The MRAP on fire. Pull him back. Order's it's so far out. okay. So I'm noticing they do have a... Ooh. Insurgents do have a reserve force to the northeast that look like they're going to try to come in and flank the U.S. on their side of the river. They actually got eyes on a hat. They're now calling yeah. it out to this make sure that none of their guys get hit by it. One by hat located direct to our east, two story stack. How many accidental suicides? Uh, not many, usually. I, I don't see a lot of accidental Just suicides, lot. usually. Oh, there's mortars landing on point in the village, making yeah. everybody keep their heads down. Or you're going to have to step it up. Expit actually a, got hit. A Logi truck? Uh, aim for Charlie 7, yep. Yeah. yeah. Expit, the INS command actually getting injured during it. And the US has not whoa, lost whoa, many whoa, on this push. It looks like right. they only he lost about, up. I don't know, six or seven bodies? He's underneath the water tower, that wall. Now comes the time where they have to clear this whole village out, and this can yeah. be tough. Enemy room by room. Right next to it. I think he's down. I Expert, just dude, him. you're not watching Karmica. You are watching Squad Ops tonight. Squad Ops is a community that runs One Life Operations in the game squad. Find out all the info at squadops.gg. So it looks like that foothold that they had on the west has now turned into good clearing forces on the south. And on the northwest, this push, this push that came in is now doing well. They've got themselves a little bit of an establishment and they're going to start moving through the village. And overwhelming forces coming. Blue and red are all mixed up down here amongst each other. This is... Someone goes down right there. Who was that? Catch their names. But yeah, these guys Phoenix. are mixed up all over in each other. Got him. He's dead. Yeah, on the north, they're starting to mix it up too. I, I, I cleared starting them. to get into these buildings and start making clearing pushes. This is where you gotta peek and peek hard. This is where your clearing aggression is gonna come in. I fully believe that Insurgent just killed himself with his own RPG. He fired it too close to himself while he was injured and killed himself. Oops. <laughs> Command goes down for the US. Oh, LaRue dead. Unfortunate for him. But that being said, they are doing well. They do have a good clearing force. They've got a two-sided assault here. Both of those sides have gained footholds, and they can now work on pushing those prongs in, trying to turn that spearhead into a clear, you know? Got a little tight action going on down here. 203 is going to make short work of this poor guy. Maybe. Oh, oh, they traded. That was great. You know, thinking about it, as those uh, as those U.S. on the infantry option, you do get four grenade launchers. I haven't seen many grenades coming out. I feel like they should be just, yeah. you know, don't push into a room before you just lob in a grenade. Yeah, I mean, that's, what, 32 extra explosive grenades? Right. Just don't clear a room unless you put a grenade in it first. <laughs> So we do have a squad across the river that's a uh, insurgent squad across the river that's trying to flank something, but there's nothing left to flank. And then we've got a hardened up cell in the radio room itself, or I guess the radio camera room. There's like one guy alive on the south here as well. Just kind of trying to hold out. Who is that? That is a uh, Revort, actually, just kind of trying to hold out in this building. He's got guys all around him to his north. He had somebody pushed in his compound and died at the entrance here, but currently he's just kind of holding right. Trade's going back and forth on the mid here. U.S. soldier takes down an INS. It looks like U.S. has the middle of the north side under control. That flank could become huge if they figure it out. Mm -hmm. And uh... Oh, and they've got a vehicle up there too? It looks like they had an SPG techie. 
The lat shot comes in from the north, nearly kills somebody. Uh, something just got popped. Was that an MRAP? Yeah, an MRAP just got popped on the southwest side, right by the bridge. Oh, nice. Yeah, they popped one. Ooh. I feel like that was a, uh, that might have been a mine, or was it an SPG? I can. I didn't see any mines placed over there. The SPG, hmm. I did just hear one plunk off somewhere. Didn't catch where it came from. Alright, well. Truth, you still up? Looks like. Looks like server air on the north there, maneuvering around. Now there's mortars landing on the north side of the fjord. It seems like communications are still. Oh, two guys get taken down by a lat from the north. That was Burns and Ace Expert going down to an excellent lat shot from USMC Tommy. Good shot from him. Takes down two. That's why we discuss battle spacing, ladies and gentlemen. Don't put yourself space. in a small building with another person. Expert command, Brian is. Yeah. I think I caught that. Another yeah, MRAP going. Out. Yeah, the other MRAP is down. So that is all MRAPs for US down. At this point, building to building, vehicles aren't quite as important. Right. You've already made your push, you've already covered and everything. I'm not sure where it was, but Remick just picked up two juicy team kills. That was the mortars, actually. Oh, That is really? US mortars landing on top of US soldiers, team killing two of them. And now Merrick just having a laugh all alone as those mortars killed both of his team. Unfortunate. We're going to move like out here got, and check this. Yeah, they have all their, all yeah we got a pair that's uh, going up here to hunt this fob. Uh, of me. Uh, like fuck. Sir Aaron wrote... Yeah, Rose yeah. Dragon. Let's see if they got anyone on the lookout. I see one, two, three. So they do have someone on the lookout. And four bunkers up here. <laughs> one... Two, three, uh, like four bunkers, oh. and a half. See what's... Hopefully they're able to take out two guys. Yeah. We need guys back this guy's getting complacent. Sorry, come back. Alright, all so, looks like... So it looks like here in the village, there's three guys left. Shattered Ritual, yeah, a mouse, you. torched, Kenneth as well, and a you. techie rolling in on the south side. Two guys on it. It was an SVG techie. They shoot the, the gunner off the back. Driver is running away now. He runs away through a field. That was a good shot. Heads up play to think to shoot that gunner out as quickly as they could. He gets stuck in the field. So the fob itself is actually sitting in this building right here with four guys in it. Four guys chilling in that building in the U.S. just trying to clear room by room. And as they clear room by room, they're trying to find the location of that fob. They know that fob is somewhere in here, but they're not sure where. Looks like the U.S. are pulling out of their mortar base. Maybe the rounds are complete. So this poor duo up here is going to be stranded. With no targets left to attack. That'll be unfortunate, though. They might end up just kind of wandering out. around in the middle of nowhere. Wow, they got out! Why did they get out? They could have just left. Well, it looks like they're going to effectively return fire. Okay. Nope, lost one. See what they... One for one right now. Two for one. They're both bandaging. They're all bandaging. Everyone's bandaging. And if you're alive, <laughs> you're bandaging up here. Oh, and he died. U.S. let out and then got exploded by a two of three. Whoops. <laughs> Poor Remick. Oh man. It was, a, it was a good effort. You got one. Oh, Jay Remick was on the GL. Excuse me. Good shot. Good shot. Using one of those, what? Four, ten GLs to good, wow. good uh, effects. Torched made a good push here on the southeast side. Took out Masonic Holmes, who was on the mortars. He heard the mortars come out and just started chasing them down and immediately killed the guy who was on the mortars. Uh, he everybody, traded his life for it, but for now they won't have IEDs to worry about those mortars also. coming in unless they send Don't somebody forget. else out to them. Wow, so it looks like the U.S. have regrouped over here. They're all clustered in this one building. 
and they've got a I'm hard I'm not point. sure why. Uh, I mean, if your squad leaders go down, all you've got is, uh, you know, local comms. You're like, hey, guys, let's uh, regroup here. Yeah. Figure out what the yeah, heck's going need on. To push figure out where we're at. Oh, yeah. Oh man, another oh. another lat shot coming in on the west. Yeah, that took out. Uh... That was a long range one. Man, that took was crazy, Jay there, Remick. Right? We got more contacts in the northeast, northeast. Jay Remick has had an interesting time trying to just get to this location. You know. <laughs> Jay Remick, there on your screen. He uh, took some shots earlier, hopped out, fired at people. Then moved down here, took a lad shot, got out, <laughs> and killed the guy. And now they're trying to determine if they should stay in this vehicle or if they should uh, maneuver inland. They've got one guy up to the north that they're putting some ineffective grenade fire on. Meanwhile, down by the radio, going to get some close, act, close quarters combat here. The U.S. are moving a little bit south into the next compound. Two insurgents are real close by. Oh, here we go. It's gonna get hot. It's gonna get hot. Ooh, the squad lead down. Didn't catch who that was. Shatter ritual goes down. That was. Was that command? No, that was just squad lead, right? Yeah, Shadowed is uh, just squad leading tonight. It is Larue and Xbit are your commands tonight. Guy just threw a grenade and uh, puppy skills. He had to hit himself. It's okay, man. No one saw that on stream. <laughs> uh, Adam Williams asking Is it possible to spectate yourself through squad or is this a private server? All of our operations are run on a private server. Uh, we give out the password just before it after we do our whole briefing. So, Ooh, yeah, you can't peek into a dishka. Don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> Here we go. Dr. Anarchy asking, is this the first or second round? This is the first. We got another one coming up after this. Ooh, this could get real exciting here. Yeah, he's peeking into Oh, brutal. Brutal. Oh, wow, and he gets one through the wall. Nice work. Dishka doing work on that south yeah. side. That, that, like, 20, 20 push. Oh, and then he gets taken out, making too much noise. And then he falls through the map. <laughs> That's insult to injury right there. So over here on the west, Jay Remick and uh, Keevan have actually managed to get themselves in. You know, there's they were taking shots from Brisinger up north. Uh, Brisinger is still moving around out there, that little red dot. But they abandoned their lodgy and are now just crawling in. They're just crawling it in, slow and steady. <laughs> you got to do. Get on the ground, eat some dirt. <laughs> U.S. are using local comms. Who's still alive? Not many, man. This has gotten yeah. bloody here at the... What is it? Five down here on... Is it five on five? It's five on five. It's five on five. All of this fighting, all of this bloodshed, and we end up at five on five. <laughs> it's a regular Counter-Strike match. Oh, except Merrick! Oh, we take back your grenade skills. <laughs> he takes out a teammate there. Oh, Brutal. no. We're, we're going to say that uh, he... Uh... I don't know how <laughs> We're I gonna say him. he I just had a bad day, you know. Somebody ran into his grenade. That's a <laughs> something like that. <laughs> yeah. I think I Merrick and Keevan have no idea who's alive in there. They've lost all forms of communication, obviously. So all they really know is that there's there's some people maybe in the village, and they're just crawling it around. Did you clear that second floor or not yet? They're trying to turn around. They think that there might be that guy behind them, uh, which is Brisinger, who has pushed up north. He's he's not chasing. He's going to try to put a grenade through this window. Let's see if he can do it. He makes it on the second attempt. No team kill. Good job. Sweet hat, oh, too, by the way. Look at that ghillie hat. That's fucking style right there. I always sure love that elf. Here's how you use those grenades. I'm sorry, that ghillie hat looks silly. I'm saving one grenade. <laughs> you don't feel like it's stylish, Tadish? Come on. Uh, no, it's not. Yeah, stylish anyway, should be a see, backwards uh, baseball cap or something, you know? Like, yeah, yeah. yeah. Not like helmet does anything for you. Just gives you away. 
pushing. Update on Jay Remick and Keevan in the southwest side. They are still just kind of plunking along here, you know, trying to get themselves into position. Yeah, and it looks like they're finally making a push, yeah. Going down into the poppy fields, yep. They don't know that there's anybody necessarily up with them. They have an idea, but that's about it. They don't know. And now there's two INS pushing in from the north as well that north, might yep. clear out the... That is Brisinger who was taking shots earlier at this Jay medic is, uh, is painfully exposed here on his side. This is where it's good to lean. His whole body is exposed. Yeah, right here. Is a... there's, there's no reason to have that when you lean out and just have your, your gun in your face. Let's see his Wait, you don't like here. to stand in the middle of, of open doorways? Chilling. So U.S. starting Ooh, to make their push easy. Right on top of each other. I don't see a yeah. Yet. That is Fleetus yeah. Moss just south or just under Miyamoto. Sure it's front of us east. He's got to hear those footsteps. We'll Although maybe not. That engine is running right next to him. Oh, <laughs> one tap. Well, three tap, I guess. The first shot did it, but Remick. <laughs> yeah. Covering his guys that he didn't yep. even know were there. <laughs> he hopefully knew they were there. He just didn't know what their status was. Right, still right. Map. Still have a map. Yeah, that's true. That is true. So then we got what? One so random got insurgent four. to the north. Nope. One to the west, and then three hard pointed versus the three. This trio? four of the U.S. Four. Where's the, where's There's the two four? in the uh, the northern building. And then Keevan and Jay Remick on the south side. Oh, so yeah. it's 4v5 yeah. right now. They're in a decent right. position here. Yeah, they could do this. We'll see what they do. It's hard to, to pierce through the buildings like that. It's hard to really try to, you know, get through those outer walls and then make a good push on it. But if they keep pushing with aggression, they might be able to do this. Or if they just wait for them to make mistakes, like, you know, the guy peeking out on the building and getting domed by Jay Remick. We'll see. Brissinger has a good flanking position from them on the west. Yeah, they're coming up on... I think they should be able to hear the radio. Than stacking up against that wall. They should, uh, but I it might have just been out of range. With the engines going. Shots come in from the north on some of the guys here. Some here of the U.S. guys that are in the middle of the... Short. Yeah, it's just... He's leaving. I'll put though. another one. I think he's out. There's a half wall. Zero, oh, zero, five. I hope he's not out. Oh, blue smoke. That's smoke. <laughs> good, good blue smoke. <laughs> Scare everybody. You know they didn't hear that radio, and Jay Remick and Keevan are now pushing around to the north. I think that they, uh, I think they didn't hear it, and what now they're thinking it's is on the north. Brissinger doing out here? He's just hiding uh, in a corner away from everything I think he's just hoping that somebody's going to come around to... shots go out on the north Keevan gets taken down Jay Remick just close to him here Riot Expert takes him down Jay Remick's going to get eyes Jay oh, Remick gets domed wow. from the south building great shot coming out from the top floor who was that? that's a good one tap was that a scout? was that the SKS? that was Han fucking Solo <laughs> <laughs> Han Solo had a epic second round this morning where he was different last... guy. There is Han Yo, Von guy? Solo and Han fucking Solo. They're two oh, different okay. people. Excuse me. That's great. Got two US, <laughs> two versus five. Well, really four because uh, Bersinger is kind of out of the action. He's just kind of chilling. Oh, Here they go. They're it. making a. I got the fog here. They hear the fob. This is Merrick and Fleetus Moss. You know, Fleetus Moss is a very new guy. I think he, I this is probably one of his like first or second ops. And here uh, he is as one of the last two alive. That's got to be terrifying. I wonder if he realizes <laughs> that everyone's watching him. Because everyone that's died is an admin cam flying around watching yeah. them. Oh, yep. We got a... We got a I just have smoke rounds. Light machine gun covering this door. This is gonna should be death for the first person that comes through. 
Should be. Should be. You never know. If he peeks right. Here we go. Nope, he misses it. He misses the reaction. Gets the second oh. one. Gets the first and one. And there, there we go. That's going to be GG as soon as they call it. That should be it. I do believe. It looks like uh, everybody, right? Am I? Yep, yep there it is. There's a call from Russian, and that is GG. INS, take the first round, but this, don't go away just one. yet. Yeah, that was close. That was close. Very good push from the U.S. No, uh, so Zristos asking uh, they can't respawn. No, you cannot respawn in this. This is a one-life operation being run by Squad Ops. This is what we do. We run one-life operations in the game squad, and you can check out all of our information at squadops.gg. Get more information take, there. So, Take a quick break between rounds. Uh, we'll be back with round two. Reset, switch sides. Uh, show you, uh, yeah, new round. Same op, but just switching sides. All right, getting the map rolled there. All right, we'll be back after a short little...